Blood pressure is the pressure at which the left ventricle of our heart pumps blood to the organs. It's measured in millimeters of mercury. Normal range of blood pressure of a healthy adult is 120-80 millimeters of mercury. The heart has four chambers, two auricles, and two ventricles. The left auricle or atrium receives oxygenated blood form lungs. It goes to left ventricle and is then pumped to all organs in the body. The right auricle or atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from the organs. Then it enters right ventricle and from there it is pumped to the lungs again. When the pressure is more than normal range, it's called hypertension or high blood pressure. The lymphatic system controls the pressure at the capillaries in the organs. But if the pressure is too high, the system may fail and it may lead to hemorrhage and organ damages. So the blood pressure must be controlled by medications or natural blood pressure controlling agents and proper exercise. Signs and symptoms of hypertension are fatigue and confusion, severe headache, nosebleeds, chest pain, vision problems, difficulty breathing and irregular heartbeat. Following are the groups of medication that are used to control high blood pressure. They may be used alone or in combination, depending on the evaluation and prescription by the physician. Diuretics, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, alpha blockers, angiotensin II receptor blockers, alpha II receptor blockers, vasodilators, peripheral adrenergic inhibitors, and central agonists. All these groups work on different principles and have different pathways but they ultimately help control the high blood pressure. Salt intake should be reduced because sodium in the salt increases fluid retention in the body that leads to an elevated blood pressure. Potassium acts otherwise. It increases water excretion and hence it helps decrease the blood pressure. Rock salt is a good blood pressure lowering agent. Besides that there are number of vitamins and minerals that help control or treat hypertension. B vitamins, studies have shown riboflavin or vitamin B2 and folic acid or vitamin B9 supplements may be helpful in lowering high blood pressure. Vitamin C, some recent studies have shown that taking 300 to 1000 mg daily supplements of vitamin C significantly reduces blood pressure in people with high blood pressure levels. Vitamin D, studies have shown that people with high levels of vitamin D have lower chances of hypertension and people with chronic hypertension have typically low concentration of vitamin D. Vitamin D supplements are significantly helpful in controlling high blood pressure. Coenzyme Q10, some studies have found that supplements of this vitamin like molecule, which is found in almost every eukaryotic cell of our body, significantly reduces high systolic pressure. Magnesium, a study review of 200,000 people, has suggested that higher intake of magnesium reduces the chances of high BP in the first place. Another study showed that supplementing 365 to 400 mg of magnesium per day over an average period of 3 to 6 months significantly reduced blood pressure in chronic hypertension patients. Magnesium lowers blood pressure by producing nitric oxide, which relaxes blood vessels. Potassium, it is the best known supplement for reducing high BP. It promotes excretion of sodium, and that relaxes the blood vessels. Omega-3 fatty acids, study reviews have shown, omega-3 fatty acid with fish oil supplements, help lower the blood pressure in hypertension patients. If you like this session, please subscribe, share, and click the bell button for more videos like this.